Hi there, everybody. Um, it is lunchtime, and we had a lot of leftover chicken broth and um, chicken from a rotisserie chicken I bought when I was at Sam's Club a few weeks back, the last time I did my big shopping trip. Um, and you know, we we generally just eat on it for one night and then go ahead and pick all the meat off, freeze it, and I use it in future meals. So. I'm going to be doing a chicken noodle soup for dinner tonight, and all I'm doing is I'm putting in my broth, right, and I have about six cups of the broth because we, we um, put that rotisserie chicken carcass into the crock pot um, overnight, back, back when we ate the chicken, and made a really awesome broth. I don't know if you've ever done that, but it really does make amazing broth, and it's so easy and you get everything out of that chicken that you can get. So I'm going to toss in the meat. And um, it's still a little bit frozen because here I am starting this at lunchtime, but as it cooks down, and I'm going to go ahead and get the crock pot turned on. Um, as it cooks down and uh, as it heats up, it'll melt and everything will start going together. But in the meantime, I'm just going to toss in all the rest of my veggies from fry. And I'm doing it just as a throw and go. I'm not going to measure. This is going to save me a ton of time. But it's going to be a really easy, healthy soup. Some corn. I'm probably doing about half a cup of corn and peas. Probably about a fourth cup of the carrot dice, just because they're, they're very small, and so you get a lot in a fourth cup. And of course, some onions. I usually put about two tablespoons of my onions in. And this is my dehydrated onions this time. And some celery. Again, about probably about a fourth cup of celery. And I thought I'm going to try throwing in a little bit of zucchini, just as an, a little extra a little extra something in the vegetable family there. Not a ton, just a little bit to add something different. And as you see, it's kind of all piled up. And I'm actually going to add some extra water and some extra broth just to, you know, make it a good soup. And I'm going to start with an extra two cups of water, almost, and probably an extra teaspoon here of Thrive Vegetarian Chicken Broth, which <laughs> you can't see the label because my little boy tore it off once upon a time. So throw that in there. And once all of this melts down, it's just going to mix together and, and come together really nicely. And I'll check on it and see if I want more water added later. And if, if I do add more water, I'll probably add another teaspoon of um, the chicken broth. So there's dinner. I'm going to get it covered up. And I'll just check on it in about 30 minutes or so, see if it needs to be stirred down a little bit. And otherwise, I'm going to walk away from it, and dinner is pretty much ready. I have, um, I made the bread bowls the other night and for the potato soup, and those are what was left over from that. I froze. We're not going to eat them as bread bowls this time. We're just going to cut them in pieces and, and use them as bread to go along with the soup. But I think it'll be a really nice, hearty, uh, fall meal on this chilly fall day. Our temperature here in Alabama dropped to uh, right around freezing last night. So we are looking forward to the warm fall weather uh, soups and meals because it's comfort food time. So nothing more comforting than chicken soup and actually, oh yeah, I also had some leftover potato gnocchi that I made I think a month or so ago for um, uh, copycat chicken gnocchi soup. So I had that in the freezer also. So probably about an hour before I am ready to serve this for dinner, I'm going to throw in the frozen gnocchi so it'll have time to really cook up and float to the top and, and be ready and cooked. So, so it's going to be like a chicken gnocchi soup, but it's not going to be creamy. It'll just be a regular chicken noodle type soup with gnocchi instead of noodles. So um, anyway, happy thriving. <laughs>